Hello, this is Ascension Guide and Intuitive Healer Matthew John, and the topic of this video is, are you really a product of your past, or is there something deeper going on? And here's what I mean, is the way that we're uh, growing up in the matrix, growing up in normal third dimensional everyday society, we're kind of led to believe that who we are right now, who I am right now is a product of all the experiences I've had in my past, right? All these things have happened to me. I've been through all these trials and tribulations in my life. And because of that, I've learned these lessons. I've had these hardships. I've overcome these obstacles. And because of all those things, They've shaped who I am today. And that is absolutely true. But there's something deeper going on that I want to point out, which is the intention of this video. And that is to consider this question. What if, instead of being defined by my past, who I am right now is actually a product of who I am becoming in the future? So what if my present circumstances and my present experiences are actually being shaped, are actually what is molding me into who I'm becoming in the future? And that changes the perspective 180 degrees because while at times it can be helpful to, to take stock of who you are right now, who you believe yourself to be, and of the experiences you've had in your past and say, I've had all these experiences and because of this, I've learned things and it's made me a better person today. And if you can have that perspective once in a while or even all the time, that's great because that's helpful. But when it is not helpful is the times when you're not happy and not grateful for what has happened in the past, but you're regretting things that happened in the past. You're regretting mistakes you've made. You're regretting things that people have done to you. You're regretting choices you've made, etc. Because then it's not helpful anymore. Then you're thinking, oh, who I am right now is not who I want to be right now. If I look back five years and ask myself where I wanted to be right now, I'm not there. Okay? And the reason I'm not there is because I made this mistake, I made this mistake, I made this mistake, this person did this to me, this company did this to me, etc. That's when it's not helpful. And that's when this perspective that I'm presenting today can be a lot more helpful. And that is to think, what if who I am today and everything I'm going through today is only happening because who I am becoming in the future is being molded out of these experiences, right? So it gives yourself perspective on whatever you're going through right now. Whatever trials and tribulations you're going through right now, whatever circumstances you're having right now that you don't want, right? That aren't ideal, that you want something better, but you don't know how to change, things like that. So then just ask the question, well, what if I'm only going through all of this to mold me into the person I'm becoming in the future, right? See, because from a different perspective, from a, um, a more bird's eye view on life, it's like a greyhound run. If you've ever watched a greyhound race, the greyhounds run on a track and there's a rabbit, there's a little stuffed rabbit that's on a stick that the greyhounds are all are all following. So it's like if your future self is that rabbit and you're the greyhound, so it's always in front of you and the person that you're becoming keeps moving along in linear time and the person and in order to become that person you're going through certain experiences along the racetrack to evolve into that person that you're destined to become, okay? Like I talked in my previous video about your soul's journey, about your, your soul's path and your life lessons. A lot of these things are really built into our path. 
a lot of the, the biggest obstacles that we'll face in our lives, the illnesses and the accidents and the breakups and the things like that, especially the big ones, are actually built into our life plan, right? And we couldn't really avoid these types of things if we tried. We might be able to, uh, by making different free will decisions, have different types of those same experiences, but we're going to have kind of the same experiences no matter what because they're built into our life plan because this is the kind of thing that our soul wants us to learn. These are the types of lessons that we're destined to learn in this lifetime. Right? So we go, we're, we're the greyhound going along the racetrack and the rabbit is up ahead and it's obstacle, 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 obstacle and we overcome, we overcome, we transform, right? We change and it's usually not things that we would have changed or transformed on our own just by reading a Tony Robbins book or listening to some YouTube video. We only usually end up reading the Tony Robbins video or watching the YouTube video because shitty thing happens in our life and we don't know how to deal with it emotionally and mentally. So we look for on the outside for people, books, videos to help us, right? That's usually how the process of transformation works. It's very rare that you get uh, someone who kind of really blossoms into who they're meant to be and their, their highest, uh, the highest expression of themselves without having to face a lot of obstacles. There are those people, there are those uh, those healers out there that will tell you that they had a, a pretty easy ride of it. I'm not one of them. And I'm nowhere close to being totally evolved. I'm just where you guys are at. I'm just going along the journey with you guys. Uh, and I've had a lot of obstacles and I continue to have a lot of obstacles and a lot of circumstances that I don't like, right? But it's only happening because it's teaching me and it's shaping me into the person that I am becoming in the future, okay? And this process isn't just happening. I'm talking about if we look at this from like a soul perspective, it's not just happening in this lifetime, all right? You, from a linear perspective, you have lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. And I, I know, believe me, I know there's simultaneous lifetimes too, parallel lifetimes, things like that. But if we just kind of laid it out on a piece of paper or on a whiteboard so we can kind of look at it with a linear mind, lifetime after lifetime after lifetime, and you're evolving through your experiences through each lifetime, you're that greyhound along the track. And when one lifetime ends, the process of evolution doesn't end. You just go into the next lifetime and start where you left off. Right? So we're always becoming, we're always transforming, we're always evolving in every moment and all of the things that we're going through right now are only happening because it's what our future self, our more evolved self in the future needs for us to be going through in order for us to learn what we need to learn, in order for us to begin to react to situations differently with more spiritual maturity. Watch my last video uh, where I talk about becoming more spiritually mature and how to know when you're becoming more spiritually mature. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Through these trials and tribulations, through the circumstances in our life that we don't like, don't like, through the, the tragedies, through the, the stuff, the nasty stuff in life, that's where we really, really evolve. And we don't necessarily need more of that, we might. Every person has a different life plan kind of laid out before you come into human form. But you might not need really much more of the major stuff. It might be a smoother ride from here on out. It certainly could be, or it might not. You don't really know. But the only thing you can do to kind of facilitate that and to make the ride easier for you is to do the spiritual work yourself, like watching videos like this. And not just me, there's millions of others and there's a lot of other uh, healers that are a lot more well known than me that you definitely should be checking out as well and uh, you can facilitate this process of transformation that's going to happen anyways by learning to become more emotionally mature again like I talked about in my last video by uh, working on your physical health by focusing on giving your physical body everything that it needs to thrive, right? And that helps with this ascension journey. Again, a lot of us are going through the process 
of actually upgrading from normal carbon-based human beings from the third dimension to crystalline-based human, divine human beings in the fifth dimension. And there's an actual physical transformation that's going on. That's what causes so many light workers to be going through so many physical issues right now, right? But you also need to be focusing on your physical body. You need to be giving your physical body every advantage it has, it can have to transform, you know? The best nutrition, the best water, uh, seeking out physical healers, things like that. So I guess what I'm saying is while everything is destined to happen and you are destined to become the person, you are destined to become the highest possible version of yourself. That will happen and there's nothing you can do to stop that from happening. But you can facilitate the process by doing your spiritual work. By giving yourself spiritual practices, daily rituals to center yourself, to clear out your energy, to relax, things like that, right? So, to sum it up, you are not only a product of your past, and in fact, if seeing yourself as a product of the past is not helpful, throw it away, okay? If you don't have, if you don't have a good relationship with your past, then fuck the past. Fuck the past. Forget about it. It's not easy. But try to just not focus on it as much and say, you know what? Who I am in this moment is the highest possible version that I could possibly be in this moment. Because you're always the highest possible version of yourself in every moment. It couldn't be otherwise. And I'm definitely evolving into someone that's even brighter, that's even shinier, that's even more centered, evolved, balanced, clearer, healthier. I'm evolving into that person. I'm always evolving into that person. And whatever comes my way today, or tomorrow or next week could only be because I need that to happen or I need that to confront me or I need to see something in order to learn, in order to refocus, in order to reassess, to rebalance, to re to look at something differently, to react differently to something. And these things come like flashcards. And they're of a, a, a similar vibration to the lesson that you're at. And you probably have, simul you have different lessons going on at once. But it's like, all right, I need to react. This person triggers me. They always trigger me. And I always react negatively. Uh, I react with anger or I react like they're um, victimizing me in some way. Okay? So then they do it again. I react the same way. They do it again. I react the same way. Wait, I just watched this video or I read this thing that makes me think, hmm, what if I react differently? Okay, here we go. Flashcard. It happens again. I react differently. Whoa, that feels different, right? I feel like I reacted in a more mature way. I feel like I am more in my power like this. I'm more centered in my being by reacting this way. Okay, and the universe says, good, good job. Now on to the next type of lesson. And these things just keep going. You see? So, you're not a product of your past. You are actually a product of your future. You right now are a product of your future and you are the highest version of yourself that you could possibly be right now. And with that, 
if you truly buy that perspective, if you truly feel that perspective in the cells of your body just for a moment, you realize there's nothing to forgive yourself for. And there's nothing to regret anymore. So just sit with that for a moment. All right? Till next time. Thank you.